What's up, Tiger Nation? Steve Leslie, YSN Live, your home of the Tigers. It's Tuesday night. Week 13 is upon us, and any time you're playing football in week three, it's a great thing. The Tigers will face a good, talented opponent in Dalton Friday night from Marlington, a great, great school, which we'll talk about with Sean here. But uh, a couple shout-outs. First of all, thanks to everybody here each and every week. I want to th thank Josh and Nick, the owners here, to support – all of us here at YSN and everybody at Tiger Nation, no doubt. And also want to thank the ladies here tonight, Jackie, Becky, Vea, and Chris, for all they do each and every week. And if you cannot get over to Marlington for the game, come on over to the Tigers table and check it out. We'll have all our remaining playoff teams on YSN for $9.99. Hop on there and support some of these great teams we have left. I wish them all the best of luck as they continue, but proud to be joined by the head ball coach, Coach G, thanks for joining me again. Here we are another week, and uh, uh, what a football game. I, I guess start there, and before I even go into that, I was able to watch, and I get to interview these kids, and I talk about this a lot with you, and I see, Sean, I see you get interviewed. I see them get interviewed by different outlets. You have to be proud as the head coach to watch them speak. It's never about their, their, their individual play it's always about the group that they play with uh, the offensive lineman or the defense who's ever helping out is that something that you take a lot of pride in as a football coach to know that it, it's going to come to an end at some point hopefully it's weeks down the road but when it does they have great support systems the guys that play for you and they're able to have great communication and great relationships and they show that to the media each and every week well, for us, and I still think it comes down to what Springfield or Springfield kids or the community or things of that nature. There's a lot of good families here, and, and, and it shows in the kids uh, in, in a lot of different ways, whether that's the way they talk, the way they treat each other. Uh, I mean, it's just, this is really a good group of kids that I know for our staff we enjoy to be around. Uh, you can coach them. They're, they're highly motivated. So it's, it's just a good group of kids. And when you can go every day and, you know what I mean, go to practice and be able to, to push them and try to motivate them and, and do those little type of things, it, it's, it's just a good group to be around. And, and, and I, I think we have a lot of fun, you know what I mean, with, with yeah. each other. I was just going to add, like, it's week 13. You have to have some fun. I, I, I shouldn't – fun, but when you have relationships like you do with them, it makes your job and your staff's job – obviously a little simpler to know that we're going to have fun but when it's also time to get down to the nitty-gritty and get down to the business need, needs to take care of that they understand that and, oh. and that's a fine line in coaching there's some teams that don't get those types of responses from their teams they don't get that bond that you have with with players and coaches and, and team and that has to help I asked each and every one of them Sean is take me in the huddle on the drive I said, well, and all three of them said confidence. There wasn't a whole lot of talk going on there. We were told that if we score here, we're going for two. So they know that before the drive even starts. And I want to ask you that because I, I think to them, that's the shot of confidence they need from a head coach to start that drive. When we score here, we're going for two. That, that to me, Sean, was the boost that – gave them the confidence we've done this before in game like situation we're going to do it again well you, you talk about you try to prepare the kids for the situations and, and in those type of situations so so hard to try to simulate that in practice but we go through our two minute we go through our two point plays uh, for me what you end up doing and you start talking about or you start getting coaches and it's the preparation of it when we go through that uh even like you talk about going into that huddle on the headphones on the offensive side, me, Coach Julia, Coach Franklin, we're talking about it's like, all right, when they score, what, are we doing? Hey, what plays do we like? What do we want to do? What do we want to attack? How do we want to get there? So we kind of had a little bit of a game plan going into that. And obviously with that conversation, it was like, well, do we want to kick it or do we want to go for two and try to win it? Uh, in, in games like that for us, once we got it down and we had the momentum, I felt like it was a perfect sure, opportunity I, I think. for us to end up going for two, made some big plays. Uh, and once we went through that, you mean, and again, to me, it's through preparation. Uh, you mean, for our side, I got a, on our call sheet, we got our two point plays or our goal line plays, and we kind of went through at the time of, because, you mean, after we scored the, the touchdown with Aiden, we line up, tell you the truth, I called the same play again, because I just felt like that one on one matchup was a great matchup between Aiden and the corner, and right. they call a timeout. 
well, once they lined up, they were pushing their safety over top of Aiden to almost double team him. So I was like, ah, oh, there goes that play. So we went through and we went right down our list and it was like, okay, first play we didn't like. It was a jet sweep or whatever ends up happening. We went through and it was like, bang. Well, Carson made a couple huge plays in that drive, whether it was the sure. vertical route right down the middle that he caught, then he caught the one on the sideline. So it was like we got a grouping where we put – Carson in the backfield and I thought it would just be a great opportunity to slant slant try to get him in the flat if it's not there we're gonna you know, I mean run it and man if you watch that play again you mean we see Aiden and Isaac do a great perfectly. job a hey, great job working the slants Carson goes to the flat and it was like safety goes linebacker everybody followed Carson well on that and I don't know if anybody did, but Matt who you interviewed Matt made the most unbelievable block to kind of seal the backside, and Braden had just a, it was like the parting of the Red Sea for him to step up. So, you talk about those little type of things. You mean, yeah, Matt Garcia had the probably the the, the block of the game just because of that he's, he he sealed the guy off and kind of did a box out drill, which ended up doing it. But those type of things where you see our drill work a eh, work into in the game like situations. Uh, but that is, and you, you want you want to show the kids that they're confident. We talked yeah. even before the game, my pregame thing was talking about believing we got to believe in what sure. we're doing and what goes on and, and everything we end up doing and the kids ended up doing that it was just it, it was it was a great game to be a part of a great game to, to, to see our kids I mean be able to execute and just to go back and forth yeah, you know it's what I mean football team you beat. no question we talked about that you, you talk a lot about belief talk about your quarterback Braden he grows up a little more each and every week I think he makes good plays his decision making's gotten a lot, lot better from the beginning of the year and the confidence you see in him. It's kind of added that dimension now when teams come up and load the box that there, there's a lot of things you can go to from his that, – that's all part of him growing up, getting snaps each and every week. And obviously in practice he continues to, to do things and see things at a speed. And for us, and he's, he really has done a good job of getting better in, in understanding the offense and understanding what we want to do because once we start, you know, I mean, calling plays or – no matter what it's it's like, hey, if we call this, where, what's your read? Where are you looking? What do we want to do with it? And he's he's, he's really done a pretty good job. Uh, you, know, you mean of of getting through there, having confidence, throwing the ball on time, uh, and and just working the little things throughout. And with that too, and and Braden still, he, he takes every snap as our scout team quarterback. Yeah. So he's working on both, both sides, sides of the ball for us. And not us. a lot of kids want to do that. Number no. one, I, I mean, <laughs> a lot of guys would say, I'm the starting quarterback. I'm not. Run but. and scout, but I, that th those are, uh, to me that's what makes this team special. There's no kid that really puts himself above. He wants to do what he wins. You're in the regional semifinals. You're going to Marlington. I guess that's my next question. It's a stadium you're familiar with. The travel's not bad at all. No, it's not. Um, a great facility. Does it help to go to a place that you're familiar with? Well, I think so, and I think with the kids, uh, when you're talking about, we played Columbia Stationery. I think when these kids were freshmen. Uh, which we went down, and they are familiar with what goes down. So once we end up going there, uh, obviously it's a little bit different because we were the away team, and now we're the we're, we're the home team this week. So I just want to keep it as as normal as possible. We're going to treat it like we were traveling to Waterloo or Sebring or sure. anyone. It's it's about a 55 minute bus ride, so we're going to hop on the bus, uh, treat everything like we normally would. I'm like I said, I'm very routine oriented, sure. and I think the kids that I, maybe I wear on the kids there. So we're going to treat it just just of that nature. Uh, and hopefully we're going to be ready to roll you know, when it comes to 7 o'clock on Friday. You're ready to go right now, aren't you? If you, <laughs> if you had it, not, but that's what I love about you. But a lot of things you say there when I talk to, to Ian, when I talk to Matt, when I talk to Dante, they all go back to, yes, big win. But Saturday, get back to things that have helped this football team for 12 weeks. Now, how you take care of yourself, the things you do with your body. Uh, you're big on staying in routine, and that – has been huge. Every one of them, yeah, Steve, there's bumps, there's bruises, they're nicked. Our team has them definitely, but we were able to get an ice bath, take care of our bodies, get with our trainers, get the necessity things taken care of Saturday, Sunday, Monday, so you can get into what needs done. I said this last week, and for us, I think that was one thing that our staff's done a good job of learning is to make sure, you mean, when you're going into these games and they're dog fights, and we're going to get beat up a little bit, but we got to try to get as healthy as we can as, as possible going into Friday. So if we got to spend an extra, you know, I mean, 20 minutes after practice getting ice or getting whatever, doing treatment. And again, the, the kids end up stopping down or they'll stop down and say, hey, can I go 
Sure. You may do therapy or get heat or get stem or whatever it is. I mean, our, our kids put in a lot of time, and, and now it's the time to make sure we, we don't try to cut any corners or do that. And I'm just glad the kids have bought in, and I think that, that comes down to the great leadership from our, from our seniors uh, and, and, and how to approach things. So I, I think that the leadership of our senior group has really worn on our kids. Uh, and like I said, once we go to Friday, hey, we're, we're going we're gonna to give it our all, and we're going to come, you know what I mean, hey, 11 of us on the field swinging, and we're, and we're going to put up the, you mean, the best fight we can. Yeah, no doubt they will be heading to Marlington and face a very good Dalton team. We will talk about that in a second here. One of the most f- physical football games this past Friday for, for this that you've been involved in. I think so. You mean, they were physical. They were huge up front. Uh, but, again, our kids played four quarters and, and, and kept fighting. And, uh, you mean, we, we definitely made, made made plays when we had to. But even with that, it was more of And I told the kids even on Saturday or, or Monday, we talked about the game a little bit. We played complimentary football with sure. that. Hey, our, our offense, you mean, obviously had, had some – we punted and we did that, but we changed field position. Our defense got stops and we needed it. Uh, I thought our special teams – uh, had, a, had a pretty solid game over there. And that's what you're going to have to do. You can't turn the ball over. You've got to play good special teams, and you've got to play great defense if you want to give yourself a chance to win. And one of the things that I was able to watch afterward, I saw some footage and some things about both teams shaking hands after the game. That was very impressive for me to watch. The, the directness of both teams to one another, the respect, I think, that both teams had for one another, Dante – uh, showed me a picture of, of going through the line shaking hands. I, I think Matt mentioned that. There was a respect factor by both teams. They, uh, nobody wants to lose that game. I get it. But that's what makes high school sports special when you see two teams like that that just busted their tail. But the way they hug one another and congratulate both sides, that, that had to make you proud. Oh, for sure. When you're going through a dogfight, like I said, on both sides of the ball, and you mean, like I said, there was punch thrown after punch. Uh, through that game and when I mean they ended up getting a stop then we got a stop or they scored then we ended up scoring so it it was a good it was a great football game to watch and and that's the opportunities where I think our kids at this time you know what I mean they grew up watching those games and seeing the belief of it and and seeing that we can end up coming through uh at night uh I feel that that we're that, that, that we're there and we're ready to end up competing yeah Dalton very good football program um You've, I think you've played them before, correct? Have you played them uh, in the past? I, I, we have not no. since okay. I've been there, but we have. I think we played them Some two, common opponents. two times. Yeah. Um, good program. Uh, very good very, program. Very good program. Uh, well coached. Um, very similar, I, I think, what a lot of people I've talked to. You were t- Two teams that kind of mirror one another that like to do a lot of things that one another do what what are what, what's your thoughts on this football team you're going to face Friday night well I think defensively they really do not make a lot of mistakes I mean defensively they run to the football I do think that they are very similar to us uh you, you know what I mean in, in doing that they attack the football and they're not going to sit back uh offensively they're going to show you a lot of different formations they have a very good passing game but they also can run the football and they got a little uh, a, a lot of great athletes to get the ball to so they kind of want the same thing they want to try to get it to to, to their athletes in space and, and see what those guys can do. So for us, you know what I mean, defensively, we've got to be able to make sure we try to contain the big plays, run to the football, and, and do the little things right. And offensively, we've got to take care of the football. That's it. It's going to be a good one. Noah and CJ will have the call. We'll have it for you. If you can't make it on YSNlive.com, hop on there, check out the football game. Come on down to Tigers' table. They will have it on here if you want to watch a big one. It's going to be a great football game. I, I think that when you get to this level, the semifinals in, in any region, in any division, there's four talented football teams. And I end it every week. I have to ask you, your biggest keys, you went over them again. I know, Don't turn the ball over. Don't give up big plays. Momentum. I, I think you guys have done a really good job of handling momentum swings, both ways, when it goes against you, when it's gone for you. And, and I look at they had a close game with Pie Valley, so – this is another game where momentum is going to swing back and forth many times. Well, for the things that you – for us, I would think it's important. when you, If you want to take out the basics, the turnovers and the good special teams and things of that nature, if we could get a quick start, I, I sure. think that would definitely end up helping us just to be able to get some confidence and, sure. and moving the football and stopping them. So, uh, and, and we got to play four quarters. But, but if we could get a quick start and j- just have some early success on, on doing what we're doing. And, again, 
you, you don't know much about them because you're you, right. you, I mean, you see a couple films and you try to end up trying to read them. It all looks different, do. doesn't it? Until you get out there on the field with them. Obviously, Toronto was a little different looking. Oh yeah, up you in mean, person than they were. You say that, I yeah. would be like, oh, I felt like going into that yeah. game. I felt pretty good, and and they came. Yeah, things and, change. Holy smokes, that was it. So it's kind of hard when there's no common opponent of what sure. you end up just saying or doing or whatever. But I think for us. Early success, I know, would at least make me uh, have some Smile a little some bit, little bit than, relief yeah. uh, to end up doing it. But, again, I know right now, like you said, right now, if you're playing football right now, you got, got a good to football it. program. Enjoy it. <laughs> it's getting a little colder, which is fine. The boys are all good with that. There you have it, Tiger Nation, right from my guy right here. That's what I'm going to root for. I'm going I'm to root for the fast start. Let's get off to a good start, get some positive things going. But, again, to you, best of luck to you, to staff. Shout out to your staff again for, for another great game plan and a game last week and, and all they do that a lot of people don't understand. They're with this group of kids each and every day. They're there all weekend long. Shout out to them. And thank you for all you do for all of us, these things. Again, these kids come each and every Tuesday night and the way they handle themselves is not only a credit to you, it's a credit to their families, but also the biggest credit to the Springfield Community School System because it's a first class, first class group of kids, and, and I wish all of you the best of luck, and hopefully we'll be here next Tuesday night. I'll see you next Tuesday. All right. Thanks so much.